Hey everyone, in today's Selenium based tutorial, we're going to be talking all about iframes and what makes them different from a standard web page and how you can interact with elements inside of an iframe when using Selenium base. So, to start off, let's take a look at this page which has iframes in it. So, this might look a little familiar to you. It's like a W3Schools version that Selenium base has. And you can see here, I am loading uh, content into an iframe, which essentially creates an iframe inside the iframe that they already created. If you take a look at the, um, the page source here, you can see that the whole right side of the screen is a giant iframe. And inside that iframe is another iframe with more content on it. So if you look carefully, you'll notice that uh, Inside the iframe, there is an HTML tag, and that has its own head tag and a body tag. And inside that iframe, uh, there's the document which has HTML, a head, and a body, which is just like the original page. So in order to keep track of all these things, so that in case you have to maybe grab text from the body or something specific in that, uh, with Selenium, you have to switch into an iframe, which then uh, makes it less confusing what exactly you're clicking on. Because if you have the same element that appears in your main page and inside your iframe, such as the HTML tag, body tag, etc., then you need a way to differentiate those when you interact with them, for example, clicking on them, etc. So we have uh, some tests that we can run in order to interact with the frame. And here are some Selenium based methods that you can use for that. So for instance, there is the switch to frame method. And inside that you can specify the name of the iframe or the CSS selector for that. And that will allow you to switch into that iframe. Additionally, once you want to leave the iframe, you have two options. You can call switch to parent frame, which basically takes you up one frame. So if you're only inside one iframe, you'll leave that iframe. Or if you're inside two different iframes at the same time, it'll take you back to the first iframe. There is also switch to default content which will allow you to exit all iframes if you're in multiple nested iframes. So those are the basic commands for that. Switch to frame and switch to parent frame and switch to default content. Additionally, there's also a context manager format that you can use using uh, the whiff statement. So you can do whiff self.frame switch and the same syntax that you would use for the regular iframe methods. And then whenever you leave that width block, you'll exit that iframe that you've entered. So you can see here with self dot frame switch iframe result, which was that first iframe on the web page, you can then do another one inside here with self dot frame switch and then go into the nested iframe inside of there. And then once you've left the width block, which is indented, then you're back to the original content or original iframe you came from before you entered. In addition to that, Selenium Base also has this really special method called set content to frame, which basically makes the entire page become whatever was in that iframe. And then you can do self.setContent to parent to get out of that one or set content to default to exit out of all the iframes that you've turned the page into. So at this point, I am now going to run all these three different tests in demo mode. So it slows things down and you can see the asserts as they come in. Uh, you'll notice that this first test here should probably get the same results as this one because all that changed is that we're using the context manager format for the second test, but it's entering all the same frames, etc. But the one that will be quite different is the set content to frame, which will totally enter the iframe, making the whole page that, and then leave that. So let's start by running those particular tests. Uh, let's see, pytest iframe tests.py, dash v for verbose mode 
dash dash rs so that we can reuse the session between tests and then dash dash demo to slow things down. So you can see here it's clicking run and then it's verifying the text inside the first iframe and then it already switched into the second one and it's verifying text in that. It switches out, verifies text, switches back in, etc. So now another test is running. It's running pretty much the same uh, test that you saw before, but now it's using the WIF statement for the context manager format. It's going to look very similar. And it's going to verify the text as you saw before. And then the third test is now running. And that is going to set the whole content to the page. That's pretty special there. So you can see here it ran those three tests. And if I just want to rerun that last one because it's extra special, PyTest that and then dash V for verbose mode, which basically just prints out the name of the test as you run it. And then dash dash demo to slow things down and highlight the actions. You can see here it clicks run and then it switches into the frame. You can see the whole page became the contents of the iframe, which is pretty cool. So that is essentially iframe uh, functionality and how to switch into it, switch out of it, etc. with Selenium Base in a nutshell. Uh, here's the code that you can see here. Very easy. You can find this in iframetests.py from the Selenium Base examples folder. So if you're just wondering how to get to that from Selenium Base, you go to the Selenium Base GitHub page and then you scroll to examples and then you can scroll down to iframe tests, click on that and you can see all that there. Or if you've cloned the Selenium Base repo on GitHub, you can just uh, see it from your clone. And also a cool thing you can do from the command line with the s space print statement, s space print iframe test.py. You can print all that directly to your console output. And if you do dash n, you also have the line numbers. So you can see those tests and all the glory that they are to show you how iframes work and how to use Selenium Base to interact with iframes and get out of those iframes when you're done using them. All right, cool. So that basically covers today's tutorial on iframes and interacting with iframes with Selenium Base. There's going to be a lot more exciting tutorials to come, so stay tuned and have a great night.